We here receive Major General Lucky Irabor, the first commander of the International Joint Task Force, through this broadcast. Voice of peace, louder than the voice of violence. Besides the military or service activities to the population, is there any other activities on the benefits to the population of uh, this region? Yes, there are. Right here with me, I have civilian components. Those who ensure that issues of human rights are taken care of. Those who are also involved in humanitarian affairs. So, side by side, the military officials we can go. We probably have other officials that help the people to be able to stabilize. And that's the reason why we engage in a quick impact. We engage in different, different activities to help the people to solve their immediate uh, humanitarian needs. We equally cooperate with other UN agencies and non-governmental agencies. Those who, who have had to give some form of support to the locals, we cooperate with them, ensuring that they themselves also operate without any molestation from the insurgents. So together, we bring some form of succor to those who have been affected by menace. And on our part, we have made significant contributions to ensure that they themselves, that is the locals, you know, get a feel of life should be. And this is precisely what we have been doing and we have been succeeding. <laughs> Is there like a plan for immediate to assist in the medical assistance or the hospital or the schools to these people? Yes, all these assistance I talked about earlier on, they have to do with medical provisions. Sometimes we even give food. Sometimes we even help uh, students, that is uh, school pupils. We even engage in teaching in class. In some places,